Hello everyone, welcome Wolf Spirit Productions. This is April coming to you from Mount Vernon, Illinois. I drove here in Mini Wolf Spirit. Right there. We're on the way home for the weekend. And I decided to do some geocaching while I'm waiting for David to catch up with me. And this is going to be my first cache today. I wanted to show you what this thing looks like. The name of the cache is so confused. Where could this cache be? Just about anywhere. Pretty cool, cool sculpture. All kinds of road signs. All over the place. I did get a hint from somebody's post on the cache. So I already know where it is without having looked for it yet. But I don't want to give it away in my video. In case any fellow geocachers are watching this. This one has a lot of favorites points given to it by other finders. So if you're in the Mount Vernon, Illinois area, you should come find this cache, this geocache. I'll pick this up at the next cache I stopped to try to find. Here is the second geocache I'm going to attempt to find. At least this is the general area of where it's supposed to be. There's a pond over there. There you go. Not exactly sure what I'm be supposed to be looking for yet. Or where exactly. I'm just taking a little walk. Yeah, there's an AMC over there. If anyone sees anything out of the ordinary, leave me a comment. Let me know you saw it. Somebody said that they saw the container from far off. Maybe. Yeah, I think I see it. Give you another view of the pond. One thing I love about geocaching, it takes you to some really pretty and interesting places. Places you would not normally go. Places that even if you've lived in that area your entire life, you would never think to go there. Would not even know it existed. That area, that, uh, that unique place. I don't know how else to describe it, but there are what's called earth caches that you will learn about how our world is formed, what happened to create certain elements of the world, like mountains and ponds and just all kinds of different things. And that's just one type of geocache. If you are a geocacher, leave me a comment. Let me know. If you've thought about it or heard about it but have not tried it, let me know. Why haven't you? And there is, I believe it's I-57, I-64, going through Mount Vernon, Illinois, which we, we will be traveling north and west tomorrow. Of course, this will not come out before tomorrow. 
This will be posted, I don't know when. Something else that geocaching will show you, somewhere else they will take you, is monuments. Um, military monuments and major events in history. In memory of Jefferson County veterans, a veteran's friend, Howard W. Phillips. And it has the different engravings for Elks Lodge 819, National Guard, VFW, three of the posts. There's seats and, of course, the flags. The nation which forgets its defenders will be itself forgotten. Calvin Coolidge. It's definitely true. Decade December 7, 2002. Lest we forget. That's pretty. To give a life is a miracle of God. To lose a veteran is an unforgettable memory. Yeah. Presented by Local Lodge Woodmen of the World, 2001. And a lot of the bricks have different names on them. We've done a lot of geocaches that have stuff like this. Now that I've shown you that, I'm going to find the cache, the geocache, and figure out where it could be, what it could be. So this is the container for the geocache at the memorial. And of course, when you're finding geocaches, you need to be careful of what they call muggles. It's people that don't know what geocaching is that might mess with the cache if they see you finding it. Let's see if I can get this open. It's kind of a little bit rusted. There we go. Yeah, it's had water damage because of where it's hiding. Somebody left their business card in there and it got wet. Somebody left a penny. Anybody collect change? It's a 2016 penny. I'll leave it in there. Papers. A little bit damaged. Some water. I'll leave that in there. The way it was. And this would be the log. Let's see if I can show you. Of course, paper and water do not mix, especially if it's just plain old everyday paper. And what you do is usually, if you got room, you put the date that you found the cache and your name, your geocaching nickname. Which mine is Howling Moon and David's is Dreadle 10. So it's just plain old notebook paper. <laughs> Somebody drew a little picture. That's cute. So I'm going to sign our names to this and maybe we'll go find some more. They're a little bit farther away from town. There's only three that were within town. So I don't know how far out I want to go. And it is starting to get a little bit dark. It's 4.30 local, central time. It's going to start getting dark here pretty quick. 